it is time for a little bit more wedgication, and this is an area a lot of golfers overlook, okay? So, nice and simple, I'm gonna help you improve your shot, give you 100 yards and in shots. But the first thing you've got to ask is, are your wedges gapped correctly? This is my pitching wedge, typically 45 degrees. This is a sand wedge, typically 56 degrees. Do you use a pitching wedge and a sand wedge? Have you got a gap wedge in your bag? I'm gonna show you the reason you might need to, okay? So, I'm gonna hit the pitching wedge first. 45 degree club. That's a nice strike. I'm going to take probably about 120 with that, we'll see. Carried 120 yards, finished at 130. Okay, so that's Monday pitching where well. Didn't hit it too hard, just hit it within myself. Kept that swing to about a 9 or 10 o'clock length. Now I'm going to go to my sand wedge. So this is a 56 degrees, this is what a lot of golfers have. Pitching wedge and sand wedge. We'll hit this, knowing my pitching wedge went 130 yards. Sand wedge, you can see much higher flight. Let's see the distance that made. Carry distance was 94 yards, total 99 yards. So there's a 30 yard difference. There's a problem there. Do I hit this harder? Do I hit my wedge softer? No, I put a gap wedge in between 45 and 56. I'm probably looking at about 51 degrees. Let's grab one of those. So 50 degree gap wedge. Will this cover the distance gap? So I'm looking for around about 115 really with this club. That felt nice. You can see it's actually splitting the difference there on the screen. And that's finishing at 114 yards. Are your wedges gapped correctly? Bit of education there for you on a Thursday. Enjoy your Christmas break. We'll see you all soon.